A 15 year old girl is recovering at the hospital after being hit by a car while riding her bike. She was hit the very same crosswalk where several other children have been hit. It is the intersection of Alta Vista Road and Funnel Street in Fort Worth, just blocks away from Timber Creek High School. Fox Force Brandon Todd is there tonight with more. Brandon. Yeah, well, Heather, uh, the residents who use this crosswalk were mildly thankful when the city put in this button right here and it controls these flashing pedestrian lights to cross. So what they wanted was a traffic signal, but after a 15 year old girl was hit yesterday while crossing the street, the outcry for a red light here is heard once again. I remember nothing from in the actual incident. 15 year old Hannah Perkins definitely believes in guardian angels. I think it's just a miracle that I'm still here. Witnesses say when a pickup truck driven by a 16 year old boy came through a crosswalk at Funnel Street in Alta Vista Tuesday afternoon and hit her while she pedaled her bike across the street, she was thrown about 50 feet. Got the road burns. Um, my ankle is broken. This was the damage to her bike. Amazingly, she has no severe head trauma or internal injuries. I'll have some cool battle scars afterwards. But to many in this North Fort Worth community, this is not a shock. As we first reported last year, this crosswalk has become dangerous enough that the city finally installed flashing lights earlier this year. This after moms and students took it upon themselves to try and get drivers to slow down or stop. With the new lights, pedestrians hit a button, the lights flash. But in this case, only two cars stopped. It's definitely not the safest thing. Uh, even if the lights are flashing, my sister and I are waiting, there are still cars that will drive past it. I'd hate to see another family on both sides of the, the coin go through this again. Hannah's father believes there needs to be more than just some flashing lights. Why couldn't they put a light that's continuous green so when the kids push that button instead of flashing lights, it turns red? Because drivers are tuned into red light means stop. Police say the 16 year old driver was not given a citation and will not face charges. The family says they're okay with that. Of course, I met the boy that was, was driving the, the pickup truck that hit her. What did he say? He was extremely apologetic. He uh, had a really hard time getting words out. He was uh, shaking. You could tell he was full of remorse. And I have no anger towards the boy who hit me. I'm fully aware that. You know, people are people. They make mistakes. And, you know, he, as long as I'm alive, I really don't see a reason for anyone to be mad at him. And again, residents here are just overly thankful that Hannah is going to recover, but they're also kind of hoping that this might be their opportunity to get a signal here. They're thinking that they spoke up loudly the last time and got some change. They're hoping it might work again. Heather? All right, Brandon and Hannah seems like a really sweet, very strong girl for sharing her story. Appreciate it, Brandon. Thank you.